Hi everybody, this is Thero. You can find me on the Marvel Champions Discord in the rules discussion or doing the card text podcast with Bob and Scott where we uh, explore various rules conundrums. Um, or you can find me here playing a uh, Marvel Champions playthrough that I've been doing every Tuesday and Thursday for a little while now. Um, this is episode 11 of that Marvel Champions playthrough. Hawkeye versus Arnim Zola. So... We're on the fourth scenario from the Rise of Red Skull, which is Zola. And um, we're going to fight him with Hawkeye. So we're going to use a leadership Hawkeye deck. Um, now, Hawkeye is not my best character, and so we'll see how this goes. Um, I am running a kind of recursion leadership -y type deck, which is good for Hawkeye, I think. Uh, helps him to weather the storm in his, with his little piddly hit points. Um, and this is kind of what it looks like. I've got some resource acceleration, especially um, when all three of these cards are in play, then you can pull Mockingbird back in your hand and play her, um, which is nice. It's got some resources, Nick Fury, uh, several cheap allies, three of whom are Avengers to hopefully use Avengers Tower when we're not recurring Mockingbird. Some first aids because Hawkeye takes a beating sometimes you know, there's nothing you can do about it, and he doesn't really like to go alter ego, so those first aids are really primarily for him, although they can heal up an ally in a pinch. Uh, ready for action to help get his allies some tough statuses, so maybe they don't have to constantly be dying for him. Rapid response so they can come back into play, make the call so they can come back into play, and Quinjets, which can also either play Mockingbird for free or one of these other allies for free, um, and they kind of just help with just a little bit his resources. So it's primarily resources and things to keep me alive. The arrows are, of course, how Hawkeye does everything. So that's the idea of our deck. We'll see how it works and if we can keep Hawkeye alive against Arnim Zola. So here we are at the island of Dr. Zola. So this gets Hydra Prison, which takes Mockingbird captive to start with, and an ultimate bio servant over here. And he gets test subjects, which when defeated is going to give us another minion. Um, oh, I didn't mention, helping out Arnim Zola is going to be Kang with the Master of Time uh, modular. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Um, it's a kind of middle difficulty modular. All right, so here we are at the island of Dr. Zola, where he is experimenting on all manner of prisoners, I guess, that he's then turned into crazy monstrosities so all right let's see how this goes okay so a nick fury start that's not bad um so four for fury draws three cards one of which has to be our bow hmm just thinking if i want to how much else I want to kill for this. Um, I think I'm going to kill everything that's not a double resource in my hand because I don't see myself playing any of these cards. And maybe since I have a double resource, I can keep a little bit of stuff. So let's see how that goes. What do we get? Oh, oh, a Maria Hill too. Well, that's nice. So. Sonic Arrow. Alright, if we played one, two, three, four for Fury, draw three cards. We pay two of those cards for Maria Hill, draw one card. Can't keep track. One, two, okay. <laughs> we pay those four, we get back three. We pay two of those for Maria Hill, we get back one. We have three cards left total, so. That's enough to play a Sonic Arrow, but not a bow and a Sonic Arrow. So there's really nothing we can do about these three cards here. They aren't helping us any. So um, I think we'll keep the Sonic Arrow because if we get a bow, we can shoot and confuse Zola. And we'll assume that that is a good start. One, two, three, four for Nick Fury, who draws three cards. Okay, that's interesting. We're gonna go this way, I think. One, two, for Maria Hill. 
who draws one card. It was a double resource. Okay, now I have a hard choice. I can play Avengers Tower, which is going to help me with Mockingbird. I can play Sonic Arrow, which will help me survive when I need to go Alter Ego. I'm not immediately needing to go Alter Ego. So, let me think about that. While I think about that, let's do this. We're going to thwart test subjects and see what minion we get. Okay, we get one of those guys. And we have to reveal him. So this is where things could get really bad, really fast. Come on. Okay. Phew. So that's not really bad. <laughs> that's pain in the rear. So, okay. The main concern with the mutate is if you get the neurological implants, which have made him a 3 4, that would have made it a little tough for me to survive. Seeing how that worked out, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Fury to thwart that. I'm going to use the Sonic Arrow to get my bow. Um, did you know you can search? Isn't that great? I always forget. And then I'll play that for free. And I'll play this Avengers Tower, which will help me play out in a minute. And then... He has retaliate ones. I'm not sure if I really want to punch him. Um, probably I do. It's just a thing that's going to need to happen. Another option was to ping off this stuff. But I may have better ways to do that. Alright, five cards. So, there we go. One threat. One counter. Armzola attacks me, Nick Fury defends. Oh, those times display soldiers. That was not a good, not a good get there. All right. Uh, I take three more damage, and then I get two encounter cards. Let's move this guy over here. Or not two more, one more encounter. All right. Ah, it's another mutate. This one also has. Oh, this one has defensive programming. And it's an ancient grudge. So I also got Kang. Well, well, well. Where is he? Kang. Kang, Kang, Kang. There he is. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. It's a whole lot. And just these four, just these three minions deal five damage to me. <laughs> Which is enough to kill me. That's, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I could Maria Hill this, <laughs> get Mockingbird. Uh, with Avengers Tower and those two, I could play Mockingbird for two. And then I could play Explosive Arrow, which would do basically nothing. Um, I could kill Kang, because she could punch Kang. I could Explosive Arrow, and then I could punch Kang. I could hold on to first aid. And I could go alter ego. This was a pretty bad start. I'm definitely going to lose this side scheme. Or the main scheme, whatever. <laughs> side scheme, you know. It's a side scheme. Um, but I guess that gives me a chance to stabilize. So let's do that. All right. Muriel is going to thwart this. Because I think having Mockingbird is too useful to pass up. We're going to play Mockingbird. She's going to ping off his tough. I could hold make the call. Because then I can make the call Fury, and that might be useful. No, I'm going to hold first aid. Just to check real quick. 
That's my first explosive I've seen. So I have another explosive arrow in here. Eh, there's a chance. Three. Three. Six. And his tough is gone. And then we are going to punch Kang. Flipped all three go. And not die. Okay, well, we got a Vibranium Arrow, which is would have been really useful against Kang, but is not as useful at the moment. Um, I could really use another Explosive Arrow. I got another Make the Call, though. So I have some things I could do with this hand. That's nice. One threat, one counter. Arnim's Zola schemes for two, three, four. That completes this scheme. This goes back down to zero. And uh, we choose a minion to put into play. Any minion we like, um, except for we reveal it. So not just put it into play. So I guess that'll be another ultimate bioservant. No, 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 no. Um, sorry. So this is what we're doing. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a minion and reveals it. Zola's mutates attack you with blind obedience and savage fury. It's up to you put to put an end to this nightmare before the mad doctor unleashes them upon the world. All right, so, uh, yeah, there it is. It's a berserk mutate. He doesn't attack me, so that's I like that guy. And he or he doesn't scheme, and then he doesn't scheme. Uh, okay, so now this has one threat on it, and one, two, three. And we get an encounter card. Which is pain inhibitors attached to the minion with the most remaining hit points. All right, let's see. He's got one. One, two, three, four. He's got four. He's got four. He's got three. So we're going to go ahead and put it on this one, I think. He has defensive programming, and now he has pain inhibitors. All right, so that gives him four, five, six hit points. So that's fine. We can kill him with a vibranium arrow. Just have to survive. Okay. So how are we going to do this? One, two, three, four could play our good friend Nick Fury. That's where I'm leaning at the moment. So let's do that. We are going to make the call and pay one, two. Three, four, for Fury, who then draws us three cards. Okay. We play a Quiver, which searches our top five cards for an arrow. There's my expert marksman. Cable arrow. Uh, yeah, let's hang on to that cable arrow, actually. All right, so now I've got some decisions to make here. I've just got to figure out what my best options are. So... I could recover for three which would put me back up to eight hit points. Pretty good place to be. I'm definitely gonna Vibranium Arrow. So Vibranium Arrow kills this guy, which is important for sure. Um, either of them can kill this guy. I could recover three and then I take two from him or I could just kill him. And then I could thwart this for two. And I think that, all in all, sounds like a pretty good turn. And I'll be doing okay. All right, so I'm going to punch him for three. I'm going to spend two resources to play a Vibranium Arrow to deal six damage to this guy, who had nine hit points. Mockingbird is going to punch this guy, who only had one hit point. And then Nick Fury is going to go ahead and thwart two. All right, so we're looking all right. We're looking all right. Not great, but all right. 
There's all my arrows. This goes up by one. This goes up by one. He attacks me, make sure he defends. And takes three damage. That's fine. This guy hits me for one. I get an encounter card. It's some neurological implants. Alrighty. He has six hit points. So that's not too bad. We can deal with that probably with an explosive arrow. I played an explosive arrow earlier. That should have done three damage to Arnim's Law. Got to keep those explosive arrows in mind. So I drew three arrows, you'll notice, and no expert marksman. So what's in this deck of five cards? That's right, two expert marksmen and one arrow, actually. So that's interesting. That's a different option. Um, hmm. <laughs> so, I can do six damage with the vibranium arrow. That'll kill this guy again. Um, so that's kind of nice. Then I don't have to exhaust. So then I could go Alter Ego and recover, but then this is a terrible spot. Um, I could ready my bow and I could shoot a Sonic Arrow. And that would do three damage and confuse him. I just realized I can't use Mockingbird because um, she already has two damage. So she's going to come back to my hand this turn. I mean, I really would have liked would like to play Endurance. The thing is, I cannot play a Cable Arrow, an Explosive Arrow, and Endurance. Well, I can actually, because I have a Cable Arrow right there. Maybe that's my best play. Cable Arrow, Explosive Arrow, no, that doesn't kill him. Uh, in order to kill him, I have to punch him and explosive arrow. So let's do that. I'll hang on to this vibranium arrow. I like hanging on to vibranium arrow because Kang is just killed by it. Also, I feel like I'm not in too bad of a spot here once this minion's dead. Uh, oh, sorry. I was going to hold on to this explosive arrow. Because I think having an explosive arrow will help. Um, he's not about to get a minion, but so maybe I want to shuffle it then. I'll hold on to power of leadership. Because I know I'm going to get an ally, right? I know what these cards are. Oh, these are my expert marksmen. I'm going to play expert marksman next turn. If I can. Hold on to that. That means I just barely shuffle. And that's it. All right, one threat, one counter. He attacks me. Now, here's an interesting thing. I could make the call. One, two, three. No, definitely don't want to do that. So here's the deal. I'm not playing Hawkeye. So how about if Mockingbird comes back to my hand instead? Two damage, wow. Good thing I blocked that. Oh no, he attacks me for two plus a boost. I'm gonna go ahead and defend this because there's really not much you can do. All right. Not bad, I take one damage. Uh, he could have done five and then I would have died anyways, even though I defended. But he could have done four and then I would have survived. And that seemed worth it. All right, Avengers Tower lets me play Mockingbird for only two. I'm pretty sure I did not give myself Endurance hit points. <laughs> that was the whole reason to play Endurance, was so that I wasn't almost dead. And then with the Expert Marksman, I can play this Cable Arrow. Whoops. Cable Arrow. Knock three threat off the main scheme. And my Quiver can look for an arrow. Come on, man. Quiver. Mm 
All right, well. Longbird's going to go ahead and clear the main scheme to zero. And I think I didn't deal myself two encounter cards last turn. That surged. That surged. Oh, man. And he got defensive programming. Okay, well, that was fun. Okay, so Mockingbird, you cannot kill either of these guys. Why don't we go ahead and just try to bring him down a little bit? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a boost. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a boost. Hmm. How about that? All right, well, let's see if I don't die. I look a bunch of arrows. Oh, man, I get another minion, too. <sighs> Okay, I died. Well, that's the way it goes. I hope I didn't unnecessarily give myself an extra encounter card there, but I don't think I did. Um, I can't survive this because I'm going to take six damage. And there's nothing I can do to prevent it. If I had gone alter ego, would I have survived? Just out of curiosity? Nope. That was a death. I was dead one way or another. So, uh, yep. All right. Well, it was a noble try. But it didn't work. I just tried to delete the damage token. Why did I select everything before I deleted the damage token, you ask? That's a great question. Why did I do that? Why, Theoral, did you do that? Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one more time. I almost recovered. I have to say, I'm I'm surprised. I thought I was done from the start of that game. I thought I had no hope at all. Um, it, it's entirely possible if I had not missed that encounter card that I would have decided to try and play out that hand a little differently. But that's how it goes. Sometimes you just make mistakes and you have to pay the consequences. I'm pretty sure I didn't deal myself an encounter card there. Um, like I said, if I did, if I was supposed to not be not have lost that match, then, well, you can leave a comment and let me know. All right. We know what we're doing. We know what this looks like. That's a crazy turn. All right. Wow. Those are all a bunch of cards that I really would like to see not on my first turn. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I could play Fury. And hope for the best here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to discard these three and see if I can't draw a double resource. I did. I also drew my bow. That's fine, though. I can spell my bow. One, two, three, four. For Fury, he draws three cards. Where's my minion? 
Oh, I pulled one aside. I didn't. Fury is going to thwart this, and we get a minion. Uh, it is revealed, so he gets an attachment. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that card does not have victory. It does not go to the victory display. Uh, this doesn't have victory either, I guess. It's just removed from the game. He has seven hit points, which is just a bit much. Now what I'm thinking is, if I spend one for Expert Marksman, and I go Hero Mode, how do I want to do this? He has 14 minutes. So six damage is not enough to kill him, and three damage plus the pinging of his tough is not enough to kill him. I think what I do. Oh, haha! -ha. I forgot. Okay, sorry. I forgot to grab my bow. Um, I cannot play both expert marksmen, so. I guess I could hold one though. Do I hold Expert Marksman or Explosive Arrow? Let's hold my Explosive Arrow, how about? So I'll spend Expert Marksman for my bow. Play my bow. We're going to Cable Arrow this. But I cannot bring myself to thwart it. Because that's just going to pop Mockingbird in my hand, and that's another card I have to hold. So I'm just going to start out by... I'm not even going to deal 3 damage to him. I'm just going to ping off this tough status. That's fine. Gets me in range to maybe do something next turn. Okay. One threat. Uh, one counter. So it attacks me. Fury defends it. I guess we have a master plan. That is good. I did not want to get a master plan. And then I take three damage. And I get an encounter card. And it's Berserk Mutate, so I take two more damage. Alright. So no question here. Definitely an Explosive Arrow. That kills him. Three damage there. Three damage there. Now if I thwart, I get Mockingbird. I could play Mockingbird for three. which would, you know, get me some stuff. Alternatively, interestingly, and I might go this way. I mean, uh, it's, I've already lost one microphone call. This will be a second one. I could pull Mockingbird. I could make the call Fury, and he could deal four damage to this mutate. That would kill a mutate. One hit. Then he could exhaust and kill this guy. One hit. Then I have no minions out. Fury to defend. Uh, I mean, if he attacks me a second time, I'm really hurting, but I'm in really good shape at that point. So I think we're going to take that chance. We are going to take that chance. One, two, three, four. Four. Nick Fury again. Because he is such good value. He deals four damage to this guy. Boom. Gone. Then he deals two damage to this guy. Boom. Gone. And maybe we don't die. Let's see what happens. Nick Fury defends. Okay. We will get a guy next turn. That's pretty much going to happen anyways, so... 
It's not the worst of cards to get. What's my encounter card? I was caught off card. Bye, Bo. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't have a bow anymore. That's okay. It's okay. Who needs a bow? Uh, don't get me wrong, I would have loved to have a bow, but we're going to recover. I um, think we're going to place Quirrell Girl, maybe? Hawkeye, maybe? I don't know. Doesn't really matter which one I play necessarily. Uh, I guess Squirrel Girl. That deals one damage. I dealt three damage to him when I used my thing. Uh, and then I'm going to play this Quiver. Oh, I should have played the Quiver before I flipped. Let's just pretend I did that. Because I haven't done anything important. Wow! That's a lot of arrows. Um, cable arrow would be useful next turn. Vibranium arrow is a good backup. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a cable arrow. I don't know. I'm going to have to kill a minion. Maybe a vibranium arrow. In case it's a really bad minion. It's not a bad minion. I can just punch it. So. And then Hawkeye is going to become my bow. I am so blind. All right. Let's see. That happens. I get a minion. Oh, sorry. This goes up by one. I get a minion. It's Kang. I made the right choice. goes down to one. Remove three test counters. All right. I really hope. Nope. He finishes that. We have to take a minion. Uh, oh, I just, I get to choose. So it's definitely Berserk Mutate because those guys are easy. Kang schemes for a test counter. And then Zola gets plus one scheme and plus one attack. Or plus two scheme and plus two attack. But Zola's not scheming, so that's okay. Then I get a single encounter card, which is Zola scheming again for three. I didn't lose. I didn't lose. I really thought I said I was going to keep that cable arrow. Um, but I guess I just <laughs> changed my mind. Which I'm kind of glad I did. Um... All right, he's dead, he's dead, that's not a problem. I don't have make the call, so that's a little bit of a problem. I also don't have any cards to play if I punch this guy. And if I don't punch this guy, then I'm in a bit of a rough spot. So let me think about this and see if there's a better way I can do this. Let's see, she could kill him with a rapid response and then I could cable arrow this down to two threat then she would be dead though but let's see I spend one for the vibranium arrow spend that for that so for the cable arrow I cannot then first aid I could electric arrow him at that point. But that doesn't seem better. So I th think I'm stuck with a kind of wonky hand. So we go hero mode. Uh, we're going to spend those on rapid response. We play. I'm going to keep. Hang on to that. Sonic arrow. Oh, I'm not actually. We're gonna do six damage with piercing to Kang. We're gonna do three damage without piercing to this Berserk Mutate. This should only have one counter. Because it had zero counters after it flipped, and then Kang got one. That's helpful. Alright, 
And then we're going to spend this one on first aid, knock us back up to nine hit points. And now we have a cable arrow still, so we're a little bit safe. Squirrel Girl Defense takes three damage, and I Ravager Sponsor back into play. Ah, it's a Zola's Mutate again. <laughs> These mutates, I tell you what. I could do without them. Alright, Quiver. I feel like I may have forgotten to Quiver last turn. Which is a shame, because it would have had my Sonic Arrow on it. So I can make the call for Mockingbird, which is what I'm tempted to do. Make the call, spending three for Mockingbird. Play my Cable Arrow. Boom. Three threat. Uh, three, four, five. I can't quite kill him. So he does a couple damage. That still seems like maybe my best play. So let's do it. Mockingbird. Spending these three resources. Cable arrow. Do I even have any arrows left in my deck at this point? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. Nine, I have a single vibranium arrow left in the deck. All right. I'm still going to punch him for three. And Mongbird's going to go ahead and thwart for two. Alright, so I've got a Vibranium Arrow right there. That's nice. Um, so I can quiver the Vibranium Arrow, play Maria Hill. Pretty good. Alright, one threat. One more of those, so I get another minion, which is that guy. It is not revealed, just put into play. So that's a big boost. Much prefer them that way. I get attacked, Squirrel Girl defends, and takes a bit of damage. Bye, Squirrely Girl. Uh, those two attack me, I take four damage. One day I'll play an Endurance, and then I won't be in such bad shape. <laughs> All right, I could use an explosive arrow, but I don't have one of those. What I do have is a vibranium arrow. And a Maria Hill. So, my main issue at the moment is that I'm going to die. <laughs> Always an issue. Dying. So inconvenient. Um, if I punch this guy for three, that's taken care of. He has how many? Four hit points left. All right, so now I only take three damage. So that's nice. Although I may just still need to go all three. I don't know. 
Okay, I could just kill this guy. Or this guy, I guess. That's probably the one I want to kill. Uh, yeah, let's do that. We're going to play this Vibranium Arrow for one. Two resources. And I guess we'll kill that guy because he's tough. We'll hold off on him. I'm somewhat safe to go alter ego, but I could instead play ready for action. Make Maria held up. No, make Mockingbird tough. And be pretty safe. I'm going to still get two encounter cards. But it feels a little bit less dangerous. Than, I don't know. Alter ego. This goes one, two, three, four, plus a boost. I mean, it's not that much dangerous. Let's do that. We're going to go alter ego. One, one. Arnold's all schemes for two. And a tough status. Excellent. Excellent. I'm still alive. Well, I don't know. No! I might have lost. That's the danger of going all there you go. Oh, goodness, two. And he gets defensive programming. I didn't lose. I did not lose. My weird stuff status didn't do me much good. That was folly. Folly, I tell you. I really want to play Endurance. And I would like to play Nick Fury. Um, I'm already confused, so there's really nothing much I can do about that. One, two, three, four. Nick Fury draws three cards. Nice. So we're going to let Maria Hill fort. We're going to make the caller back out and draw a card. And it's Expert Marksman. So we're just going to hold Expert Marksman. We're going to play Endurance. And then I think I'm even going to recover. And let's see if we can get a good arrow. All right, we got a sonic arrow or an explosive arrow. Now he has one, two, three, four, five, six hit points left. I could explosive arrow, but then he still needs three more damage, which I can't do. Uh, well, I could. I could kill him, but he's just not that dangerous right now, I think. But if I... Oh, but I can play it and hold on to my thing. I'm going to do that. Alright. The reason I like to do that is because I can play it without spending this. This brings off his stuff. And then Maria Hill and Nick Fury throw that down to zero. And I think Mongbird's going to go ahead and punch him. That pings off her tough, and then she takes a consequential. And we're in pretty good shape. One threat, one counter. Arnimzola attacks me, Nick Fury defends. And takes three damage. All right. Then this guy attacks me. I take two damage, which I can take. So I'm not going to sacrifice an ally for it. And then he gets neurological implants. All right. So now he has three hit points. That's beautiful. Because I can deal three damage. <laughs> With ease. Okay. Phew. I was like, do I not have an arrow? Come on.
All right, I just need to make some decisions here about what I want to do. The simplest thing to do is to punch him. I need that minion not to be here. Now, come my choices. One, two, three. So I can't make the call for Nick Fury super easily. But I could make the call for Squirrel Girl or for Hawkeye pretty nicely. I could just Vibranium Arrow this guy. Um, have a few allies out, which is nice. I think that's what we're going to do. I would love to actually use this turn for building more. Um, they're kind of the same, so let's go ahead and get Hawkeye. How about? Oh no, Squirrel Girl. Because I can't attack him, right? What's going on? I think I was. What is going on? There we go. Um, yeah, Squirrel Girl does the damage. So she's better. So she deals one damage to him, and then she can go ahead and thwart for one. That's spending that. I spend my other make the call for my other expert marksman. Double expert marksman plus my bow is a vibranium arrow for six damage. And I hang on to my cable arrow so that I can thwart later. As needed. All right, I finally got my Avengers Tower. And one of my Gwynjets. Like, I would have loved to play those two cards last turn instead of Squirrel Girl. I guess I couldn't have played both of them, but you get the idea. All right. Zola attacks me. Maria will defend this. And she takes four damage. I'm kind of trying to hold on to Mockingbird. Maybe I can get... Sorry, I didn't do this. I reduced it to zero, but then I didn't actually take the minion. All right. I take two damage from a minion, and I get a single encounter card, which is another Zola's Mutate. I think I've gotten all of them. Hey, look at that. I, I discarded all the cards from the encounter deck, so that means I get to stop. and just reshuffle it. Okay, cool. Not bad, not bad. So this is pretty clear. We can explosive arrow. Boom, boom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just a little brain fart there. All right. Boom and three. Um, and then you know what I think I want to do? Really? I think I want to play a rapid response. Because then Mockingbird can deal two damage to this guy. And rapid response right back into play. And I can clear my confused status, which is a good spot to be. And Mockingbird can go ahead and finish thwarting that. Sorry, that was using that card. Um, and then I draw five cards. Nope, four cards. I didn't use my quiver. Darn it. Did I not use my, no, I used my bow. Okay, <laughs> as long as I use my bow, I'll feel good about it. All right, two threat, one counter. Uh, sorry, Zola attacks me. Yes. I spend a resource to take Mockingbird back into my hand. This attack will deal zero damage. Look at that. It already dealt zero damage. <laughs> and then I get a Berserk Mutate. So he deals two. That's fine. All right. Two for my Avengers Tower. One, two, three for Mockingbird. Quiver wants a card. 
it's the very card I wanted. In duplicate, wow, fancy that. All right, I get a Sonic Arrow. Um, let me think for a second. So I do this to Sonic Arrow to ping off his tough status and confuse him. Would have liked to actually hit him, but that's fine. Mockingbird can knock those two thread off. And I could kill this guy, but he's not going to do anything anyways. And I need hit points. Um, well, no. We'll hold on to Squirrel Girl. That one can be more useful somewhere else. So we draw our hand. Six cards. Okay. One threat. One counter. Two threat, sorry. One counter. Zola is confused. Berserk Mutate doesn't do anything. I have an extra encounter card because I shuffled. Deal an encounter card. We get this Light of the Century Sphere from Kang. Um, that's going to give us another minion because <laughs> you never have too many minions. All right. Uh, finally, I'm exhausted. He tries to gang up on me. And this mutate has defensive programming. So now it has guard. That's fine ish. Um. I'm really just hoping to build up a little bit here, but this is not a great hand for that, actually. Um, I can't do anything more in Alter Ego, so we'll just go Hero and try and get an Arrow, which, you know, is not a thing that I can do. I have way too many arrows in my hand already. How do I get another Sonic Arrow, honestly? So three for a Queen Carrier. Hmm. I'm in a little bit of a rough spot here in terms of what I want to do. On the one hand, I could stun Zola, which is really kind of nice. But then I can't thwart this. So I think I have to thwart that. which is kind of garbage. Did I spend a double resource? Maybe I didn't want to spend a double resource. All right, I get a minion. Let's hope it's not a bad minion. Uh, put it into play, good. Good, good. And then my problem is I just can't do really anything. Um, I'll hang on to my electric arrow. I'll heal myself for two. And then I guess Mockingbird and Squirrel Girl will go ahead and defeat this guy. I could have used not being exhausted last turn. <laughs> it just would have been handy. Um, that's nice of a Barney Marrow. Uh, that should actually work out pretty well for me. All right, this goes up by two, unfortunately. That hits three, which means I get a minion. It's a Zola's Mutate. That's only put into play. Zola attacks me. I'm going to take four damage already, so let's not make that five. Let's go ahead and pull Mockingbird. Six, rather. All right, and I'm afraid of King which is not ideal, <laughs> but it's not too bad yet. All right, look at the top five cards for an arrow. Looks like I got an electric arrow. All right, so I'm looking at playing Fury and Mockingbird. That can thwart this all the way to zero again, which is nice. I'm thinking I could Vibranium Arrow either of these guys really. 
They're both pretty bad. And play Mockingbird. So that's my turn, basically. Um, I have one card left over. I might go ahead and flip and clear this. Um, I guess I could kill both these guys and just leave this at two. That's probably stronger. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. Triple Nick Fury. He draws three cards. Uh, exhaust that and pay one, two for Mockingbird. Exhaust those three cards to Vibranium Arrow. Uh, this guy. Make Fury Thwarts for two. I punch for three. Mockingbird punches for two. Oh, I guess I don't need to flip, do I? I just don't, I'm a little bit concerned about this, but I'm not like a lot concerned about it. So maybe I just hold off because I have Fury out so he can block. Alright. I think it's time to start killing the villain. Let's see what happens. Fury blocks. Okay, takes four damage. Okay, an encounter card. It's a bio servant. Not my favorite thing to see. Those bio servants are really annoying. They have four hit points and the tough and it's just too much to deal with come on no arrows darn it all right so my only arrow oh i have an electric arrow which what stunts him that's not bad um so i can avengers tower to make my next avengers ally cost minus one and then I can play one, two, three for US agent. Ah, oh, man. Oh, no, that's fine. And then I can spend explosive right ready for action. Um, which is nice. I'll probably ready a fraction. Mockingbird and US agent can just keep this guy under control. Is that really at zero? Doesn't seem like that should be at zero. Pretty sure that should be at one. All right. So yes. So one, two, three, US agent. US agent knocks that tough off. Takes a consequential. Um. I shoot an electric arrow, dealing three damage to Arnim Zola and stunning him. Right, I get a minion. And I have to reveal it. So I don't particularly want it to be the guy that does a lot of damage. So we're just going to have another ultimate bio servant. Pretty sure none of these guys have had attachments for me to forget their ability. Bobby thwarts for two. Yeah, sixteen hit points. Um, I don't know. I may as well punch him. Sure. And then we will do ready for action and make Mockingbird tough. I think because that way she can block two hits next turn if needed. Alright, now I draw five. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm happy with that. Two of those, one of those. Oh, Zola's well stunned, he doesn't attack anyways. Uh, US Agent blocks this guy. I let that guy punch me. I get a single encounter card. It's my criminal best. I lose a resource. <laughs> and I get to go alter ego, which is actually kind of nice because I would have liked to recover. All right. Um, 
The first thing we're going to do, though, is play Maria Hill to draw a card. And then I guess we'll spend Ready for Action to pull um, our bow and put it into play. Flipping to hero mode. Um, all right. I spent Queen Carrier on that. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can't do both of them. Well, let's see. What does my quiver find? Do I really not have any arrows left? I did not realize I was out of arrows. Ah, I hate being out of arrows. It's the worst. Alright, I think Mongbird's gonna go ahead and ping off a tough status. So I can explosive arrow. everybody. And then Mockingbird is going to just help keep that threat under control. Always important. And then we'll play Rapid Response so that I can replay Mockingbird or replay Muriel. And it, I was just had an extra resource, so that's fine. Five Guardian. What an interesting hand. All right. Two threat and a counter, which means I get another minion. So many minions. I guess that's how Arnim Zola goes. This time it's gang. Not ideal. All right. Then Arnim Zola attacks me. I spend a resource to pull my bird back into my hand and take no damage. <laughs> uh, it is an advance, which is great. I'm really glad to see that advance. All right. US Agent blocks this Bioservant. I let that Bioservant punch me. And I'm going to go ahead and I think, no, I'm going to go ahead and block Kang. who does a whole one damage to Maria Hill, but I'm going to rapid response her back into play and draw a card. Then I get one encounter card. Which is in sight one and place one counter. Should have been at zero. And that does not surge. No surge. Okay, ten. Ten damage. You know what I really need to do? I really need to draw cards. All right, we're gonna make the call. One, two, three, four. Because I could win this game if I had an arrow. I already did the make the call? Yes, I drew a make the call from Nick Fury. Okay, that was my bottom card. So make the call shouldn't be in the discard pile yet, I don't think. Maybe. There's a response after he enters play. I don't know. I'm not really clear. That's one of those questionable things. I'll just put it in there. Two, three. Okay, it's an explosive arrow, which isn't the worst arrow to get. Five arrows. One, two, three, four, five. That's a vibranium arrow. That's the one I want to see. Okay. So we have one, two, six, yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He is dead. Vibranium arrow. Through the eye, takes the damage. I punch him. Nick Fury punches him. Boom. 
he is dead 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 so there we go phew we survived it took a couple tries I couldn't attack King anyways <laughs> I forgot I was afraid of him um, that fear of Kang would have kept me from attacking but that's okay um, yep alright well we managed to survive Hawkeye managed to take out Arm Zola only took us two tries um, Zola is tough that, that starting scenario and it's just relentless relentless but we took him out we took him out with Kang um, so that was a lot of fun with Kang helping him I, I actually I really like Hawkeye against Kang that whole one vibrating arrow boom Kang's gone good stuff good times alright well um, anyways if you enjoyed this uh, leave a comment uh, like and subscribe come back next time when we'll fight Red Skull using Captain America for the final matchup of the Rise of Red Skull so um, yeah see you then <laughs>